when the card plays. Steve Davis was our quarterback down there, and I thought, man, I can make it. If Steve, if Steve can make it, and you know, Steve married Rhonda and I 33 years ago. Uh, you know, praise God, and you know, Steve came into my life, and I mean, he was uh, dynamic. And we had a bunch of dynamic people at OU during during that. And you, you, you don't do anything on your on your on your own. And um, so, uh, let's see, uh, Texas that year in 1972, we beat Texas 27 to nothing, and the offense scored two field goals. The defense scored 21 points. They blocked a quick kick. They intercepted a pass. They recovered a fumble. And, you know, that's unheard of at OU for the defense to score 21 points. And we had Greg Pruitt. We had... Uh, well, that was in between Steve and Jack Melder, and you know the quarterback, Dave Robertson. That's a trivia question. Who was the quarterback <laughs> between, between Steve Davis and Jack Melder? Dave Robertson. <laughs> and so he was our quarterback. Steve was being redshirted, and I was being redshirted. And, you know, you get an extra year of college for free. You, you become a human dummy. You're just a human dummy out there to practice, to practice with. So... Uh, so we ended up going there, and then, uh, but against, against that Texas game, there had a sophomore defensive guy named Doug English. He was 6'4 and weighed about two ton. He got the Chevrolet player of the game. He was playing against those left guards, and that's my position. So they came back, decided to make a change, and praise God, I was that change. <laughs> and uh, uh, the night before, uh, Dean Unruh, who was our starting left tackle from Colorado, comes in. He says, Roush, you better be ready. And I said, ready for what? <laughs> because, you know, I was thinking about quitting. Yeah, I wasn't playing. All I was doing was practicing. I mean, it was, it was terrible. So, but make a long story short, uh, I started against Colorado that year, 1972 national television. We lost 20-14. And we went on 29 games without a loss. And we won the national championship my senior year. And um, so, you know, here, here all my life, you know, you always, when you're in high school, you want to be all state. In college, you know, that's the ultimate to be all American. Because I always saw the all Americans with the prettiest girls. <laughs> yeah, that was always, you know, in my, in, you know, in, in my mind. And so, um, you know, so uh, Joe Washington and Rod Schott were All-Americans the year before when I was a junior. So they would probably be All-Americans again my senior year. And up to that point in 1974, only three, the most, any one team in the nation had as first-team All-Americans were three. So who was going to be the third one? John Roush from Arvada, Colorado, short, not smart enough. Uh... Arvada, how many guys that you know from Colorado made All-American at OU? Not very many. They're all from Oklahoma and Texas. Okay, you had Tinker Owens. You had Leroy and Dewey Selman. You had Kyle Davis. You had Billy Brooks. Uh, Randy Hughes, Tulsa guy, my uh, roommate. Randy Hughes from Memorial High School. So John Roush, 5'11 and three quarters, uh, All-American at OU in Oklahoma? No way. So people were saying, there's no way you're going to be All-American. And I said, okay. I just kept on keeping on. And <laughs> our, our last game was always against OSU during that time. And so... Uh, uh, I had gotten a real bad pinched nerve, and so I couldn't finish the game. And uh, so my dad comes in to help me get my. I couldn't raise my shoulder; those pinched nerves. I, you know, they block like this now. I, I wouldn't get as many pinched nerves when you're going in like that. We were running the wishbone; we hardly ever passed the football. Every time we passed it to the tight end, he was wide open, just like Gresham was last year. We could have passed it all day; he would. We would have got touchdown after touchdown. We threw to him seven times. Wayne Hoffman, seven touchdowns. So, uh, so Dad's helped me with my pads, and Johnny Keith, our SID sports information director, comes running through the shower with his clothes on. <laughs> he says, Roush, Roush, you made All-American. Here, when your SID is that excited, you know they weren't saying anything about you or pushing you. <laughs> he 
rushed through the tower to tell me I made all American. My dad and I looked at each other, we started crying. I gotta go out and tell your mother. I gotta go tell your mother. And you know, I'm still trying to get my shoulder pads off. And, uh, and so, uh, but you know, God is good. God has a plan for your life. And, and darn it, um, I never thought you know, that would happen. I mean, that's been so long ago. Rhonda says, can't you say something else? <laughs> People get tired of hearing that. She says, I've heard it so many times. I'm tired. Say something about the present. <laughs> I said, well, I've been married 33 years, praise God. Uh, the Lord has, I've got three wonderful kids. I, I didn't really start feeling old until my oldest turned 30. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, but I made enough All-America teams to be a consensus All-American. And you know what is significant about this story? We had eight first-team All-Americans. All those guys I mentioned made a first-team All-America squad. And three of us, you know, made consensus All-America. And you know, I didn't know what really that meant until a guy years later came back when Kansas City had the NCAA Visitor Center. It, it's now moved to Indianapolis. He says, he says, John, I saw your name up on the board. I said, what? What name? Well, they list all the consensus All-Americans, and, and my name is under the guard. Guess who the other guard is? Notre Dame. <laughs> so God does have a plan for your life. He is, he is alive and well. And, you know, I would have probably been on Rudy's team, the scholarship player. You know, did you ever watch the movie Rudy? I probably would have been the, the bench warmer. So, uh, uh, you know, two verses that, you know, spoke all through. Come on up, Billy. Uh, Isaiah 40, 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run up and come where they shall walk and not faint. So many times in life, you've got to mount up on Jesus, on his wings to carry you through. And Romans 8, 28, and we know all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And then in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, and we know. We just give thanks for everything because we know God is with us in everything. You don't have to worry in college. They want to know God's perfect will versus permissive will. Hey, when you're in Christ, it's his will. You don't have to wonder. Keep praying. Keep studying. Keep speaking it. And it will, it will be revealed to you. But Billy Severance, come on. We both made All-American. He was a four-year letterman at OU as a freshman. Nathan Hale, All-State. <coughs> Nathan Hale's not too far from here. Not too far. And, uh, I mean, 38 years, this guy, center fielder. And he would always be up in the crowd. You know when the, the team runs across the field? I always try to be the first one so I can see Billy in the stands up there waving. He's always... I'd always have to see who he's sitting with. <laughs> and uh, uh, and uh, Billy, Billy has written, he's coached 22 years of Little League. And, you know, you see a lot of different coaches. And he said, you know, after 22 years, I'm ready to make a statement. 